Uh, this is going to be between FXO T-Gun and Cryptic. It's going to be a ZVP, so get ready for a great game. We actually get a little bit of difference really fast. Oh, let me see if I can... All right, guys, we're off. Countdown is down. We are all going to be on Zelnaga Caverns. It looks like just normal Blizzard version, no TSL. Uh, let's see, spawning at our top right at the 1 o'clock position, we have uh, FXO T-Gun. And at the bottom left, we have Cryptic right now. And this should be actually a very interesting matchup. Uh, don't get to see a lot, I doubt usually never always that early of an expo at least it's kind of harder to block off to your natural so usually the wall off for the protoss gets placed up here for those newbies that are watching right now that are just like me not okay i'm not like a newbie newbie but i'm kind of a noob um there are two cell naga towers right here to give vision there's this awesome crater and we could actually thank god that this is not a tbt because what happens is this turns into just a stupid vision mech battle um, other than that, we do see FXO Tigon. He is looks like he's gonna go a bit of a late spawning pool. Um, probably gonna go 15 hatch if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna pull up the productions tab right now. Uh, we do have predictions. Protoss always goes mid DT game. I doubt it. We shall see. Oh, actually, I might be wrong unless this is an, no it can't be an extractor trick. That's obnoxious. Uh, we see that Cryptix Probe does get into the base, gets to see what's going on a little bit. Uh, we do see the gas, so there actually might be a chance that this is a 15, uh, 15 pool. Uh, looking back over at the Cryptix side, we do see that he is going early gas, uh, not early gas, he's going standard gas. He's getting the gateway up. I would expect the Cybernetics Core to come out very shortly and then maybe Zillot to follow just a block off the ramp. Um... I think it's like all going to matter to see what kind of uh, scouting information each player is going to get on each side of their map. Uh, FXO T-Gun is having an Overlord right here, kind of looking over. I don't know if this is going to be one of those three-minute hatches, um, hatch expos. Get the Metabolic Boost upgrade going first before that. Uh, so we will definitely see the spawning pulley is going down. It was a 15 here. Uh, another Overlord getting built. And actually, this is a pretty interesting matchup. I don't get to see a lot of uh, PVZs in my uh, casting. I don't know why. It's kind of awkward. But there we go. There's the block right there. So it should be interesting to see. Uh, like I said, we did have some predictions from fans that they're gonna that they're gonna go. The protest is gonna go DT somewhere mid game. I doubt. Like I said, I I doubt he'll go DT um, unless FXO gives him a reason to. Unless T Gun gives him a reason to. I'm sorry, FXO is actually the team name. Um, while we got a little bit of time, while we're still kind of running around production, for those that didn't know, um, FXO just recently competed in the GSTL. Um, didn't exactly have the best showing at first. I mean, definitely playing against uh, Korean style play is so much different, so much harder. Um, as you see, any foreigner that foreigners that go to Korea, they come back saying that it's just an absolutely different game. Uh, so th I think they had a one in five record, if I'm not mistaken, where the last game actually they won, um, where QXC all killed the team. It was pretty, it was pretty amazing watching a Terran just all kill a professional Korean team. Uh, but also even better news for FXO, they actually made an expansion where they uh, signed. I think it was FOU. Um, FOU is technically now FXO Korea also, so FXO does have a Korean team now too. Congratulations to them. Uh, looking back at the FXO T-Gun cam, we do have that he's got a hatchery going up. He's got a few lings right now. He's got, looks like an Evo Chamber. Um, it'll be interesting what he does with this. Uh, I would expect maybe. i surprised he doesn't have actually a Roach War now just yet. So we'll definitely pay attention to see what uh, FXO T-Gun is planning to do. He's got the Evo Chamber, I guess. I mean, always good to have that out early, just in case DTs come to your base, you got some spores you could defend with. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side, look at this little uh, hero ling for uh, FXO T-Gun gnawing on the expansion of uh, T-Gun. I mean, uh, of Cryptic. And needs to take that little ling out. It's getting so much scouting information. Does see that uh, two gateways get dropped, so we will not see any starport play. And bam, there goes that little link. Bang. Uh, warp gate upgrade is getting re. No, it is not. Uh, warp gate upgrade is done. Is done. 
Oh, and look at me biting my words. We are actually getting a Stargate involved in this. Uh, we're getting some hallucination. So this is actually going to be very interesting. Uh, good combination by uh, Cryptic right there. I think the hallucinations and the Stargate. So he's going to have some air units flying around here that are not real. They're going to be able to get some scouting information and able to mess with the FXOT gun's mind. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side, Alaire is getting finished. Uh, he's getting also the one upgrade for Melee. Getting the queen out. It's kind of very interesting to see kind of what FXOT gun is kind of what's going through his head, what he's planning right now. I mean, he's feeling, it looks like since he's going for his gold, I'm assuming he feels very confident enough to just take the gold and see if he can get an economical early advantage. Um, we do, like I said, the hallucination of the Phoenix comes by, gets some good scouting information, takes some shot at that Overlord, but because it's hallucinated, it actually doesn't do some doesn't do any damage at all. And we do see FXOT gun jockeying kind of for a little bit of position right now. Uh, Mike Ketchy's sentries out of place has to be very careful. And oh, it looks like these links are gonna run right around them. Uh, I don't think there's anything back here. Uh, really, there's only one Zealot. Definitely has to warp a couple in here to save his whole army. All these these probes should go down, uh, and most of them do. Actually, these are not zealots getting warped in. They were sentries. Unfortunately, only trapped one. I was only able to kill one. Uh, a lot of probes get killed in that exchange. A total of, I think, 11, if I'm not mistaken. So 11 probes got killed in that exchange, so that's definitely a big blow to Cryptic. Loses a lot of mining and production time. And Cryptic is just massing up on these lings right now. Um, he's got uh, no, he's got two hatches building. He's got a macro hatch and taking the gold, so he's about to have a lot of units. But I don't think he's got any other kind of type of structure except a spawning pool and an evo chamber. So uh, he feels confident enough that he could take these with uh, just links and great shields by great shields by Cryptic. Uh, definitely he's protecting. Does not lose any sentries at all. Very beautiful play. Uh, getting down that forge kind of late right now. Getting some upgrade. Gonna probably plan on getting some upgrades. Another hallucinated phoenix comes out on the field, so it will fly around, see what's going on. More upgrades going down. Like I said, I'm very surprised that if FXOT gun has not chosen another type of unit composition. He has just got lings and lings and lings. He got a macro hatch. So uh, Cryptic will be able to see that. I don't know if he knows that there is a gold right now. He does not see that there is gold going on. Uh oh. Russian voices. Watch out. I think the Hallucinated Phoenix did get taken out, if I'm not mistaken. And look at this just massive Ling army. Let's get a unit count on that. We got 75 Lings to 10 sentries, 2 zealots, and 5 stalkers. Force fields are going to be very important right now. And FXOT gun is just going to start taking a unit slash economical advantage like no other. Uh, FXOT gun does have to be careful to not push out here and get caught with this whole Ling army kind of coming around him. It's going to have to play some great force fields and puts a couple down. A couple Lings do get uh, surrounded. A couple Lings do get in there. Able to pick off a couple sentries. Very smart. Uh, knows that he is actually surrounded his whole army and goes right for the gut right here. He's going to be able to stream a few lings right into the middle of the base, and he is just going to go right for this middle line right here. Um, I would ex expect a GG from Cryptic very soon. I think this is just way too many units for him to handle. His economy is just about to go to hell. Um, meanwhile, Epic, so like I said, he just takes his gold, has that macro hatch, has a shit ton more lings back here. Uh, pardon the language, 75 total lings. Uh, eventually is able to hold this off, has Lings just gnawing at that Nexus right now. He needs to hurry and uh, make sure the whole Nexus does not get picked off and it almost goes into the red. Unbelievable. Only 202 health left, so that's almost done for. Uh, shields are going to be at the most very important right here. He should be able to defend all of them off, but he's not paying attention right now. Uh, not a lot of these sentries have energy. He's going to have to place down, get them away from uh, his sentries. And all these sentries are just getting gnawed down. Uh, stalkers are getting picked off. He does need to surround the stalkers to get a little bit more damage. And But I think most of these sentries went down. Not a lot of energy. Can't place force fields. And I think the rest of them streamed in here. Uh, they're about to take out the rest of the drones. I mean, the rest of the probes that are all around. And this nexus goes down. Um, I don't know where the GG is, but it should be found here very soon. 
Cryptic not giving up, putting down a couple of force field to defend his stalkers, but it will not be enough. Pylon goes down, he loses production on three gates. Another pylon will go down. And this should be the killing blow right here. Not enough force fields for uh, Cryptic. Shouldn't be able to defend this at all. GG. FXO T-Gun moves on to round number six. Awesome. Wow. So definitely a beautiful play by uh, FXO T-Gun right now. Make sure. Uh, you, you saw that he uh, used actually very straight. Like, I was very surprised. Like, I'm like, why is he not going to any other unit composition? But um, those speedlings were just lethal, especially the with the one-up upgrade. They were able to run around, surround all those sentries eventually. And the worst part about it, I think what really got him um, off guard was a very smart play when that was that little engagement out of base where all those stalkers and gate, all those stalker sentries and ZLI engaged the links. And he just placed force fields around himself and tra trapped himself. No. So all those things were able to stream into the back of his base. And 